after already finishing 15 years in the business. He's going to be here to tell us why. Time now, though, to get the news, travel and weather where you are. We'll see you in a moment. Hello, good morning. A 14-year-old boy has been arrested after 60 dogs were killed in a fire at Manchester's Dogs Home last night. Emergency crews were called out to the scene in Harper Hay just after 7. 150 dogs have been taken to temporary homes across Manchester, Cheshire and Liverpool. Overnight, £180,000 has been raised through an online appeal. It's been incredible. You know, when the community has come out and supported one another, people have travelled from all over the country to actually be here to try and show their support to the staff, to the community and those who actually are involved in Manchester Dog Zone. And you can hear the latest throughout the morning on BBC Radio Manchester. Their reporter, Michelle Adamson, is live at the scene. Leaders of Liverpool's political parties will meet today to discuss the position of the council's chief executive, Jed Fitzgerald. It comes after a report into child sex abuse in Rotherham, which revealed 1,400 young people have been abused in the town between 1997 and 2013. Jed Fitzgerald was the most senior council official in Rotherham when the allegations of widespread child abuse first surfaced. Reports found internet criminal activities costing the Northwest economy almost £107 million a year. It's been commissioned by a security research centre at Lancaster University. It found smaller businesses are most vulnerable to hackers because they're less likely to have robust security measures in place. A special festival is being planned in Liverpool to celebrate the 175th anniversary of the Cunard Shipping Company. It'll take place on the 4th of July next year. That's the same day the Queen Mary II leaves the Mersey for America, recreating Britannia's original voyage from 1840. The series of events over the weekend will explore how Liverpool changed the world through transatlantic travel. On to sport now, and last night Warrington are guaranteed their worst finished in Super League for five years after their 24-20 defeat by Wigan last night. The Wolves will drop a place to fifth if Huddersfield beat leaders St Helens tonight. Now let's have a look at the weather. Here's Charlie Slater. Good morning to you. After a little bit of early morning mist and fog clears away as we go through the next few hours, I think we're in for a day of sunny spells, so a relatively bright start. A little bit of cloud around here and there, actually up on the Isle of Man. There is a good deal of widespread sunshine and clear blue sky throughout the day. Even on the mainland, though, plenty of sunshine. Temperatures up to the late teens. It will feel very, very pleasant, I'm sure, to end the working week. And then we make our way through to tonight and into the early hours of Saturday morning. Quite a cloudy night, so relatively mild one. Again, a couple of mist and fog patches developing here and there for first thing on Saturday morning. And then Saturday itself is another dry day. It's quite a cloudy one, it should be said, but the will at times particularly once we go through into the afternoon there are a couple of bright and sunny spells thrown into the mix and it's a very similar story as we go through into Sunday as well a couple of showers possible on Monday and Tuesday but otherwise mainly dry for the foreseeable future on the roads now, one lane's closed due to a lorry fire and covering work on the M62 eastbound between Rainhill Stoops. It's also closing delays on the M62 and the Nosley Expressway. You can get all the latest traffic news, of course, for your area on your BBC local radio station throughout the day and keep updated with them as well on social media. That's it from me for now. I'm back again just before 8.30. Have a good morning. A soy toast egg on toast. I'm going to pop the egg in. Finally, that's 